This is Teacher Josie and welcome to Reading and Writing Subject. Before we'll proceed to our lesson this morning, let us have to revisit first the class rules. Let's recap first our past lesson. What is critical reading? How important is critical reading in composing a text? Well, critical reading is a process of analyzing, interpreting, and evaluating what you read. When you read critically, we use our critical thinking skills to question both the text in our own reading of it. How important is critical reading in composing a text? It is essential to read critically because it requires you to evaluate the arguments in the text. It also means being aware of the, your opinion and expectation could be positive and negative of the text you're reading so you can evaluate it honestly. Let's practice. I want you to identify the synonyms of the following words by matching column A to column B. So what is critic? Yes, you got it right, which means review. How about article? Correct. Academic book. How about summary? Astra. And analysis? Critical assessment. And of course, feature, which is structure. Very good. So today's objective is identifies the unique feature and requirements in composing texts that are useful across discipline of book review or article critic. So what is book review or article critic? So a book review or an article critic is a specialized form of academic writing in which a reviewer evaluates the contribution of knowledge of scholarly breaks such as academic books and journal articles. It usually ranges from 250 words to 750 words. It is a critical assessment, analysis, or an evaluation of a work. It addresses a more specific audience and usually offers a critical response to a published scholarly work. So here is the structure of a book review or an article critic. First is introduction. An introduction is 5% of the paper. It usually comprises the title of the book or the article, the writer's name or the author, and the writer's thesis statement. Then we have the summary. The summary is around 10% of the paper. It comprises the writer's objective or purpose, the methods used of the writer, and the major findings or claims found in the text. Then we have the third, which is the review or critic. It is not in particular order, it could be around 75% of the paper. It includes the appropriateness of methodology to support the arguments, theoretical soundness, soundness of explanation in relation to other available information and experts, sufficiency of explanation, other perspective in explaining the concept, and the coherence of ideas. Then we have the last structure, last part, which is conclusion. Conclusion is around 10% of the paper. It includes the overall impression of the work, the scholarly value of the reviewed article or book, benefits of, to the intended audience, and the suggestion for a future direction. We have here also the guidelines in writing a book review or article critic. The developmental activity. Write T if the statement is true and F if the statement is false. Write your answer in your answer sheet and do it in two minutes. Okay. 
Are you done? So, without much ado, let's proceed to our next activity. Instructions. Analyze the following text very carefully. Then, complete the table that follows. What are the important elements in writing book review or article critic? I want you to expand it. The important elements in writing book review or the article critic are first is the introduction, second is summary, third is review or the critic itself, and the last is conclusion. But I want you to expand further based on your understanding on the discussion. So write your answer in the sheet or in your answer sheet. So let's have the evaluation. I want you to identify the unique features of and requirements in composing text that are useful across disciplines of the book review or, the, or article critic. Choose your answer from the words in the box below. Write your answer in your answer sheet. Do it in five minutes. And don't forget to answer your homework or additional activity that is flashed in your screen. Thank you. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for the next lesson.